Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to MagnaWave Office Hours. Pat Ziemer here, CEO of MagnaWave. We come to you on Tuesdays to answer whatever questions you may have about MagnaWave, PEMF, devices, training, anything that it may be. We're here to answer those questions and to uh, get your questions answered. That's what it's all about. We're on CastBox this morning, YouTube Live, Facebook Live, LinkedIn. We're glad to be here. If you have any questions, simply uh, uh, post them in the chat box and I'll be able to answer them from there. If you would like to talk with me about something, simply send me a text to 502-599-9722 and I will call you back, put you on the air, and we can have a conversation about what it is you'd like to know and understand about MagnaWave and PEMF therapy. A couple of things that uh, we are, the practitioner portal is down right now. We're moving everything over to a new server to make it faster, uh, to make it so you can get better access to the information that you're looking for and you need when you go into the practitioner portal. So uh, that is uh, being brought up to speed. Should be finished, I believe, later today, and it will be back up. Uh, as I pointed out, speed is an issue, size is an issue, so all of that's taking place. So if you're trying to find your stuff on the portal right now, it's not there, but it will be there shortly. Please uh, bear with us. Good morning, Hazel is with us on CastBox, and there's a, a lot of folks with us also already on the uh, Facebook uh, page and YouTube, so we're certainly uh, glad about that. So again, if you're trying to access your portal, um, it'll be just a little bit and it'll be up and running. You also will see in the um, um, in the information that Chris is putting up that we have the availability. Um, uh, we have a new device that we'll be talking about at about 1230. And uh, the, this, the website, the landing page is there. It is Spiro, S-P-I-R-O-G-O, SpiroGo, P-E-M-F dot com. And uh, again, we'll be uh, showing that machine and discussing it at, at 1230. Elaine will be joining us. So we're looking forward to, uh, to doing that. Denise is with us today. Janet's with us. Hello, Terry McLean. Thank you for being with us. Tracy, good morning. Janine has already said Hazel's with us. Sandra is with us. Dawn, Danielle, Kim, and Suzanne. Thank Thank you for being with us. I would like to know, let's see, what is, I would like to know how to treat tendonitis, please. Okay, uh, tendonitis is certainly the ringing in the ear, something that I've suffered from most of my life. Um, and uh, it's going, I can hear it right now. If you'd like, I can know, there's no way I can let you hear it, but I can hear it <laughs> right now. What I do, and it does make it, mine is pretty chronic. I've had it forever, so it's tough to get after. Uh, but what I do typically is I'll take the butterfly loop or the paddle and I'll just place it over my ear and treat accordingly. Just treat for, for five, 10 minutes on a very comfortable setting, certainly. And I do that as often as I think about it uh, because it's so second nature to me it's not an issue. But those who it's new to or those who it's maybe worse than mine, that would be the treatment protocol. Butterfly, um, paddle on the ear, treat uh, five to 10 minutes, treat as often as possible. It will enhance if you're taking a medication for that, it will enhance that potentially working and it will help with any inflammation that's in and around the ear that could help, that could be a contributing factor of the issue that you're having with the, with the tinnitus. Uh, something also that you could do if you have an LZR would be to use the MagnaWave and then put the LZR on the ear with no hair on it or covering it or anything like that and just treat there for, uh, 15 to 20 seconds uh, every time you do the, the MagnaWave. So that would be a way to approach the uh, tendonitis situation. Again, some people have had very good success with their, with their symptoms and with the problems that they have with tendonitis. Others, it's certainly different based on the, the severity or chronic or, or how long it's, it's been there. So that would be uh, the way to, to go. Let's see here for someone else. Um, uh, let, one second. Have you seen any luck with helping with NCL in dogs? Okay. I, I, I lose myself on the, uh, let me just see what we got. NCL. So let me bring it up. I'm taking a look. Golden retrieval. Okay, neuroxeroid lipofuscinosis is NCL. Um, 
is loss of coordination. Affected dogs have difficulty climbing stairs or stumble, particularly uh, when excited. Okay, it's an, when it has at the end of it, SIS, it talks about inflammation. So I would treat uh, probably the, the head, the neck, the top line of the animal to try to get rid of any inflammation that could be caught there that could be exacerbating that type of situation. Uh, certainly inflammation causes a lot of issues when it comes to that. So that would be uh, the one of the things that I would do is again, treat the, the spinal area, the, the back of the head, coming down the spine, the top line, and, and treat it um, in, as I would treat regularly if you have an animal that is having that type of situation. Uh, am I familiar with those types of situations particularly? No. Uh, there may be somebody that's with us today that could potentially uh, give us some insight and uh, if they have treated animals with that type of indication. But it is an inflammation. It does cause coordination issues. And, and so if we can do something in the body to help relieve that and to provide some relief to that type of uh, situation, then you may have the favorable results uh, that you're looking for. Okay, uh, Lindsay's with us from Oklahoma. Austin, thank you. Um, let's see, I am seriously considering purchasing the Oasis Wave Mat as I work on quite a few people and they have want full body sessions. Does it work as well as using the coils separately? Great question. Now the, the um, Wave Oasis Mat, the coils are cover the whole body. And so you're not going to, it, it re reduces some of the gauss that you receive when you're using it. Is it beneficial? Certainly. If you put someone on there and you turn it up a little bit, they'll, they will be able to know and feel where they're having some, some sensitivity. Is it as good as using the coils directly on someone's knee or low back? Well, low back, probably so. But when you talk about specific areas, if I've got something in my hip and I lay on the full body mat while I'm treating my whole body, I'm helping the blood flow in my whole body and the potential oxygenation, then that will help those areas. But if you want to get right at something, you know, if you want to put, get, wash a window, you go to the window and you wash it. And, and so to compare that to using the, the coils at the same time or using the coils in addition to the mat, I think a coil directly on the area would potentially give you a more rapid response that you might be looking for and, and help you out in that situation. But if you're treating people in many cases, if you I don't if you have a duo or two machines or whatever you may be doing, you could do a session with someone for good relaxation on the Oasis, which gives them basically a vibration uh, and a frequency delivery as well as the PEMF and then come back and just spend five minutes on the shoulder as a to really pinpoint where you're working on so uh that that's kind of the way you want to approach that when you go to your yard you can broadcast to kill all the weeds or you can go and kill each weed individually so you want to approach it in the best way possible some people may all they need is the full body treatment on the mat for 15 or 20 minutes as they're having the music relaxation and the vibration relaxation and all that works together to to uh, get after what they're looking for but again if they, if they want to get very specific to their ankle or their knee or their hip or shoulder, wherever it may be, you probably want to go there as well at the same time and treat that. Again, any questions, uh, simply put them uh, up there and I will be happy to answer them. Um, let's see. Um, treating a horse with their sesamoid ligament, any advice? Uh, scar tissue uh, in the ligament, any advice? Would moving the, her ankle while magnawaving help break it up. Well, dynamic movement uh, is a good thing. Uh, Dr. Dreesen has talked about, he does a lot of work with dynamics. I know that in, in professional athletic situations, we'll put the coil on and then do some movement therapy or dynamic therapy at the same time. If there's scar tissue there, we're not going to dissolve the scar tissue. Could we make the scar tissue more supple so it doesn't hinder movement or flexation uh, of the joint that it's, that it's near? Uh, certainly, so by doing that, uh, the just magna waving itself, but general flexation or gentle flexation while you're doing it certainly would not be a problem. And it could certainly help by moving the, the tissue at the same time that you're magna waving 
could be very beneficial. Um, take some notes and, and let us know how that works out. But I certainly think that to do that uh, would be fine. Now, if it was an injury that was, had just occurred and you want it to go, maybe you don't want to be flexing. You want to let the machine do its job, reduce the inflammation, help the blood flow, allow the healing to progress. So you need to take a, a look at what it is. But if it's just, and if you're dealing with your veterinarian to make sure that everything is clear and they know what you're doing, then you know certainly that flexation in that type of situation to soften uh, the scar tissue that could be causing a problem would certainly uh, potentially be in order uh, to do. And you might want to discuss that with your veterinarian uh, as you proceed. Uh, let's see. I have a spa that is interested in providing MagnaWave services directly after Botox procedures to reduce swelling and bruising. Have you had any experience with MagnaWave directly after a Botox session? Any contraindications to uh, contraindications to MagnaWave application immediately after facial bo Botox injections, or should MagnaWave application wait for two to three days after the injections? We have seen um, uh, two things. A lot of folks who have had plastic surgery procedures, whether it's under a knife or with Botox, have used MagnaWave and MagnaWave PMF and similar types of therapies to, number one, reduce uh, bruising and to reduce the inflammation that quite often occurs after those procedures and to, in many cases, speed the healing process with less scarring. And this is on, on the surgical procedures. It's got somebody that wants to visit, so that's a good thing. But in, in uh, with the Botox and the bruising that does occur, we have had situations where we've waited a few hours, just let everything get stabilized, get it in place, maybe 24 hours, and then begin. And you can help move the the bruising and the inflammation uh, to where you want it, to where it's not visible and it helps dissipate that situation more rapidly than, um, than not. So let's see, we have two text messages here, to folks who would like to visit. Okay, let me come up here and give a ring. It's Tina. Hello, Tina. Pat Zemer. Yes. Yes. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. How can I help you? Oh, I had asked about um, treating a horse with navicular. Um, what would you? I have the sole. Um, how would you go about or recommend treating? Like how long and how often? Okay. Do you have the paddle or do you have the butterfly and the large loop? The butterfly and the large loop. Okay, that's fine. And my on my wish list. That, that's fine. That's not a problem. Um, and, and, and number two, two, the other second part of this question is it actual deterioration of the navicular bone or is it inflammation in the area? Do you know that? Um, they just said significant changes. Significant changes. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, let's just. So, there's two ways to approach this. You could hold the foot up. You know straddle, hold the foot up and place the butterfly coil right on the bottom of the foot. Uh, you could take the butterfly, wrap it around the hoof. And so it's, it's coming in from the sides. You could take the large loop, place it on the ground, place the hoof in the center of the loop. When you do that, you can turn them, you can turn the machine all the way up. No problem. Uh, if you're holding the coil on the, the particular area and you turn it up, you could from time to time get some discomfort and you don't want that, but uh, you want to turn it as high as the animal will allow you. Uh, I would treat if it's a navicular situation, if it's inflammation around the navicular and with the description, when I was asking for is there degradation or significant changes, uh, changes could be inflammation, changes could be a situation that is beginning to deteriorate. Uh, and we want to stop that or slow that down if possible and circulation and blood flow can help that and oxygenation can be beneficial to that. But uh, that would be the protocol. Either put the butterfly on the foot, lift the foot, put the butterfly on the bottom of the foot, or the, as I said, the coil on the ground with the foot in the center. I would treat uh, five to 10 minutes um, as often as possible. Is it your horse or a client's? 
it's mine. It's yours. Okay, so this is something that you could do regularly to uh, to get ahead of the situation. If it is degradation, we're not going to rebuild bone. That's not going to happen. Right. And and uh, however, if it is degradation and you do it consistently and you keep the blood flow going, you could slow down the potential further degradation of the bone uh, and and keep it from becoming worse. Uh, or if it's a situation that's there, it's not going to the degradation they're thinking is kind of stabilized and you in and, and, but it's causing pain and inflammation by staying on it and treating regularly you can get rid of that inflammation uh, have the pain much relieved and get some good use out of the animal that that, that you're looking for so it it you know the navicular is a, a tricky area certainly uh, because it's so crucial to the movement and comfort comfort of the animal but that's how i would do it i would do it five to ten minutes butterfly over the hoof or as I described to you and as often as you can do it I would for sure try to do it five seven days in a row maybe once or twice a day on a moderate setting it, you don't have to it's not like we're trying to get rid of an abscess you want comfort you want the signal in there and you want it to do its job so I would go let's just say seven days in a row maybe twice a day uh, in that type of situation and then stop and see how it does and maybe you only need to do it once a week or twice a week uh, to get it normal at that point. So when I have done it, I put the butterfly over his hoof and I've cranked it up and he extends his leg forward and drops his head and just enjoys it. So, so you're make, <laughs> if he's feeling good and he's reacting and he's walking on it comfortably after your session, that's a good thing. Uh, consistency becomes the key at that point because we don't, you don't, we don't know. Not being doctors, and your vet can potentially help you with this. But how bad the inflammation is, they got things they can do to kind of judge some of that, that information and and have a look at and and go from there. But comfort is the key. And if he's stretching his foot out and dropping his head, he's you're relaxing him. He's feeling better. You're setting his body up to better heal itself, or to certainly to deal with the situation that it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, doke. All right. Thank you. Anything else? No. Nope. All right. Send an email to support at magnawavepemf.com and we'll send you, uh, I think Kiss is, Chris has got some uh, uh, canvas bags that we're sending today. Oh, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has a question, they'd like to talk with me. Chris has got these canvas MagnaWave bags uh, that we're supplying. If you want to uh, give me a text, I talk to you uh, and then we'll send you send an email to support. We'll send you a, a gift and away we go. Have some fun. Uh, let's see. 24 hours after MagnaWave at a low setting. So there's Aaron coming in and that's got to do with the uh, Botox and information. Uh, let's see from the coil. Oh, so let's see, what's the question? Um, does MagnaWave or LZR work on removing superficial spider veins on face and legs? Could it be beneficial to help those situations? For sure, with better blood movement, better oxygenation to the area. And uh, But if you've got something, if you've got a vein that's damaged and is there, uh, it's gonna be difficult to certainly remove that. But can you, can you help it uh, and, and maybe relieve it a little bit? Sure, and, and, and everybody's different. Some people may clear right up, other people, it's a, it's a different situation. So uh, that's how I would have a look at that. Um, hello, Jeff from Ohio. Let's see, Aaron's, Aaron's on there re replying. Let's see, can it be closer to the skin? I don't know where let, she's getting the question, sorry. Um, Elaine made a comment about people be, being on their phone during treatment and not getting the full relaxation. I thought it would screw up phones. Well, and there's a question in the uh, practitioner page about that. Somebody asked, is there a case or something I can use to put my phone and my keys in to protect them when using the MagnaWave? Uh, certainly, if you take a MagnaWave and you put it on top of your phone and turn it up high, you could damage your phone. If you have a key that has a chip in it, uh, a lot of key fobs, I'm not talking about a key fob as such, but a key with an electronic chip in it, and you put that right on the coil or near the coil, you can damage that chip to where your key will not function. So is it a good thing to take your phone and place it a couple of feet away from you and place your keys in that fashion? Not a problem. Um, I used to keep my phone in my back pocket. I would keep my keys in the other back pocket because I've left and lost them and didn't know where I had put them in somebody's barn or whatever. So 
Uh, that's what I would do, and I never had an issue. If I put the keys in my front pocket and I'm using a coil and I go down and treat the stifle area of a horse or something and I'm right there by it, I fried some keys. So to to put them away away from you would be the best. Do they have to be 15 feet? No. Um, we say that in our literature. We want you to understand that if you want to be very careful, keep things, your electronic devices, your computers and your phone and so forth, 10 to 15 feet away just to keep them protected. But I can tell you, uh, for the years that I've been traveling the country in my motorhome and working with machines right next to me, uh, the, the computer's two feet from the machine and we're treating. And or I'm on the phone talking and, and we're, we're treating. Uh, I think what Elaine's talking about when someone's being treated and they need to relax and they're having an intense conversation on the phone, they're not going to relax. And, and so that, or it's not going to relax as much. And the whole part of our deal is, Relax. Let your body do the do the deal, and let and let things happen as we uh, approach it in that type of situation. So uh, that would be the situation with protecting your keys and your phone. Uh, I've never had a problem with with my phone. Um, I know that I was in Canada one, Canada one time teaching an Olympian at Can uh, not teaching, but treating one of the members of the Canadian Olympic team. He had torn his groin and I was went up to Canada to spend a week with him and work uh, in on the area and his hip and his and his back. And uh, and I kept getting because he would not put his phone down. He'd sit right there and be on his phone all while we were doing the treatment and I'm sitting there thinking, I tell him, you know, you can, and he'd pick up his phone and go back to doing it and never had an issue, but you can have an issue. So you need to be as careful as possible uh, when you're doing those types of situations. Um, let's see. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see if there's any other questions. I was doing some sessions on horses and ruined my truck key with the chip. Also doing a dog treatment, my my iPad was was digitizing when about two feet away. So as I'm pointing out, it depends on the area you're in. Humidity has a lot to do with it. The outside um, um, area uh, where you're at can influence the signal to, to some degree. And so it's always best to protect what you're doing. I'm sorry you, you lost the key. Uh, we talk about that a lot, so be careful uh, with that. Uh, type of situation. So I believe Elaine is with us. Let me come over here and see. Chris told me there she is. She's waving. Let me turn her on here. She's in. Hey, Elaine. Hi, good morning. Hi. How are you? Hi, Hi. Dad. How are you? I'm good. Getting ready to come home. I know. I can't wait. I see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Okay. Uh, I mean, I see you now, but I get to really see you tomorrow. So. <laughs> Okay, so what's going on? Tell us about this uh, this this new machine. Okay, so we are working on, as you know, and Dad and I are working on a ton, and the whole team here at Magnolia are working on new stuff all the time. So uh, this is a what I would like to say is like a home unit, um, a digital home unit that somebody can use at home that is uh, lightweight, easy to use, um, and I'm really really excited about it. Should I just announce it like that? Is that what I'm going to do? Sure. Let's have a look at it. Okay, well, it's plugged in. I have it on. Whoop, whoo, there you are. So this is the Spiro Go. And as you can see, this is how wide it is. It's super lightweight and it's a two plug attachment machine. Um, it has the 90 minute timer, very similar to the uh, Pulse Pro and the Julian now and the Julian Duo. So we're just very excited about it. It has uh, 10 settings by 20 intervals. Which means it goes, we go. pick it back up. Now we can see it better. Oh, sorry. Here I am. Here it is. Whee. So this is our newest machine, which we are going to start taking pre-orders for um, on Friday. So you guys will be able to actually, it'll probably be shipping next week, as early as next week. So this is a digital unit. It's a high power machine, so you can feel it. It's just shy of the strength of the um, semi five. So it's not as strong as the semi five, but just under it. But the weight, the and it's a two plug attachment machine. So you can run if you have a two plug machine, um, you can use interchange your attachments with it. So um, if you are running a business right now and you are looking for a unit to rent out to people on your own, um, we are going to be adding this to uh, some of our in-house rental programs. And then also, it's really hard for me to do this. It's like backwards. But it, as you can see, it's got the start and the stop. It's got mode. Oh, he's switching me back. So it's got 
start and stop and it's got mode right here which actually takes you between power and time um so it's just a really great unit for anybody who is looking to treat themselves or their animals um at home like dogs and cats and if you run a business right now and you are looking to add a machine to your business to rent out to your practitioner or to your clients this is an excellent device because it actually runs 90 minutes um, and you, any time between, you know, 90 minutes, you can actually set that, that time. Um, and it's great because it, they can actually lay on it for an hour at a very low setting um, and just treat their body or 45 minutes or 30 minutes. You have this just really great way of, and they're not, it's not going to get so strong that they would ever um, treat themselves at a very high setting and be uncomfortable. So I'm really, really excited about this machine. Um, yeah. Do you have anything to add to this about this Bureau Go? No, I mean, I think it's it's been a fun project to uh, to work on it. Uh, and then on the human side, we're going to have another version uh, of the of the device as well that we're working with the FDA on. But on the animal side, it's the Spiral Go. Yeah. And uh, so it, it's uh, it's very effective. I mean, I've, I've tested it myself at home for months now and uh, very, very pleased with the result. Again, as as she pointed out, it's it's very similar to the semi five in its power, uh, probably as strong as the semi three. Yeah, uh, and, and so, yeah. And, and so it just, uh, it, it's the portability is something we like the lightweight situation and certainly the PMF solutions with their timers and their, their, the way they switch between modes is, is an exciting feature that that's available on this, on this new device, the Spiral Go. So how's it going to come? Is, is there going to be a bundle situation with this? Yeah. Elaine? Let's talk about that. So um, right now, the Spiro, all of our machines come with a large loop and butterfly loop in the introductory price, as you know, Dad. Um, but then for right now, if you go ahead and order a Spiro Go, um, and the price is five thousand nine fifty. So it was. It, this is basically re replacing our Semi Three that we had before. Um, and again, you have ten settings, and you go up in increments of 0.5. So there's one, one, 0.5, two. 2.53. So um, you have a little bit more customization there. Um, it is, it, we are going to include the mag energy mat, the large mag energy mat in that price. So for a limited time for about the first month that we're launching the machine, it is 5,950 with a large loop butterfly loop and a mag energy mat. Um, we are very excited about this because it's something that a lot of people who are looking for at home use equipment, they still want to see their practitioner. They still want to have those, that stronger machine for um, a, for some of their issues, but they want that daily session. This is an excellent machine for those people. If you have a small animal, um, a dog, a cat, like this is a great thing. They, if they need daily treatments to keep them well, which a lot of animals do, I know that I treat my dog every day. This is a great um, bundle to get because you can actually put that mag energy mat or even the large loop underneath their bed and they get a full session right there. So we are, if you are interested in this machine, go to SpiroGoPEMF.com. It's in the comments. Um, fill out the form. We'll send you some an email with some information. And one of our uh, product specialists will reach out and answer any of your questions. Great. Great. So I, I'm excited about it. I mean, we've had, we are um, launching the new website. I mean, we're launching the new server right now, which I think you talked about already. Um, and there's been to, you know, enhance the speed of our website. And we will be adding the Spiro Go shortly on the website. But in the meantime, it's SpiroGoPEMF.com um, where you can see everything about it and get some more information. But it's extremely lightweight. Like I'm talking, I mean, I, it's, it's under five pounds. It is so lightweight. It is an excellent addition for anybody Anybody's business, it's a great addition to rent out to their clients. Um, and for somebody who's just looking for a home use device and still would maybe see their practitioner or you've never used PMF before, the thing I love about this is there are very low power units on the market today that are, um, you can't even feel them, right, Dad? And they are $6,000. They are five, $6,000. And you don't have, you can't you can't feel them. And you can't really, um, the, that feeling part of it for us is, is so important. Um, you want to be able to know the strength and what you're getting. And so I love that this goes down very low, like a lot of those low power units, uh, but then gets high enough that you can feel it. It's like the best of both worlds in terms of home use device. Perfect. Well, I'm excited. That'll be great. Uh, and it's good to see that it's uh, rolling out this next week or so. And uh, it's going to be very interesting.
Yes. So fill out the form, SpiroGoPMF.com. We are actually going to do a bundle price for our current practitioners. If you wanted to get a few of them, um, we are putting together a, a bundle for you if you wanted to purchase those and then rent them out to your customers, which we have a system that helps you do that as well. So I'm really, really excited about it. Let me see if there's any questions here. I okay. just saw a question, uh, uh, yeah. not necessarily about that, um, uh, about the brain tap and the equestrian part of the brain tap. Can you? Uh... Yes. So uh, first I want to say Tina Hart, the machine is 5950 with the three attachments and that's for a limited time. And then Dawn, what about the brain tap, the equestrian of it? So what we have in brain tap is an app. Um, I can actually show you guys um, it here on my phone. And what it looks like, what it does is it plugs into the, uh, it, it matches wirelessly with the headset. And with the headset, there are question protocols, I guess, or um, modules that you go through or that your client goes through. You're, and you're breaking up. Let, let, you're breaking up real bad, Elaine. Um, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Not a problem. Let me kind of pick up on that a little bit because maybe it wasn't perfectly clear. But there's an app that comes with the Brain Tap, and it's got many, many different uh, classifications of the type of programs you want to have. And the question was about the equestrian situation. There are some uh, whole set of programs. Uh, um, I'll think of the doctor's name just a minute. <laughs> Gosh, I've known him forever. But at any rate, uh, that deal with your equestrian processes and your training and how to do it and how to proper mindset when you're when you're training to do specific areas in the uh, in the equestrian world. So there's a specific program uh, that that deals with that, and it's certainly available. Then there are other programs that deal with attitude, with motivation, with concentration, all of which is very available, to, important for you as so an equestrian or anything that you're doing. Yeah, Dad, you're breaking up really bad too. I, I don't know if y'all see this, but if you look, think like a Grand Prix equestrian, uh, that is the actual program. So it's all about mental concentration and mental stability and, you know, the relationship between horse and, and rider. Um, okay, so Dawn, if you just go to the search, if you purchase from us and you go to the search for MagnaWave, it should come up. If it doesn't, then we will just have um, we'll have a brain tap added. So right here, you can see the MagnaWave demo. So this plugs in. This works with the brain tap and the headset. And someone could be sitting with the glasses on and explains what the PMF is doing while they're getting a treatment. So it explains what MagnaWave does to the body while they're getting a treatment. So it's a great way for you to demo MagnaWave. Uh, without actually having to give the elevator speech yourself. I hope everybody heard that. Uh, but Don, if you have the app and you have questions, email support at mwpmf.com and we'll get it fixed for you. Okay. Uh, Suzanne Wheeler asked about the uh, the warranty. It's the same as all of our machines. Um, that three year full warranty um, where all you do is pay shipping and then you get that additional seven years. So a total of 10 years where you have a deductible and you never pay more than that deductible in a calendar year. So, um, you know, as a digital device, there isn't a lot of moving parts. There's just the fan. So you really don't have to worry about a lot of recalibration issues with this machine. Excellent. Right. That, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, it's, point. Digital. it's digital. So it's different. Now it's not, again, it's not as strong. It's just shy of the semi five. So if you are a person looking to purchase a machine and you have, you're going, you're getting treated by a Pulse Pro or some of the larger machines, it's not gonna feel quite the same, but it's gonna do the same thing with a little bit of increase in time. So you will have to increase your time. And I would reach out to your practitioner and ask them if they are gonna um, have these available for rent, because I think that would be the best option for a lot of people. You can rent them uh, from your local practitioner, which is what we're gonna set up for the practitioners, or you can get one for 5,950 with the three attachments. Okay, any other questions in there? Let me look. No, it says they can hear Pat. I can't hear you clearly. Wonder why I'm glitchy. I don't know. Our our, our glitchy guy. <laughs> can you hear me? Are we good? Chris, uh, we need to. Uh, I know we're adding, changing stuff on the servers and everything. That could be doing, uh, could be affecting things just a little bit. Yeah. See, uh, you're glitching for me, Dad. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just get off and let you finish your office hours. Um. If you all, again, everybody have a wonderful rest of your week. I will I will leave and let them, uh, let dad finish so we don't have any more glitching. But I do want to say I'm working right now to get an office, uh, a wellness webinar for the holiday set up with Dr. Myers, which I hope to do next week. So I will see you all again for that. Okay. 
Now she's leaving. Now I'm all by myself again. Well, okay. I just don't well, want no, to. You, that's okay. Whatever. If you got stuff to do, you can go. We'll finish no, up. I'm, I'm just kidding. Stay now. I'm staying. I have nothing. I'm saying. She wouldn't leave now if I wanted her to leave. No. <laughs> okay. If you have any questions, um, give us, put it in the chat box. We'd be happy to uh, talk with you. If you'd like to give us a call, okay. 502-599-9722. And you can talk with both of us uh, at the same time. If you want to have a conversation about something uh, that you need to deal with or want to deal with, uh, let me go back here to so the Katie's Facebook asked board. a question. Katie Battis asked, how would that work for dogs? Um, What's that, the new machine? Yes. It would work fine. It worked great for dogs. It's amazing. So we've actually sent one to Dr. Marty Goldstein and he's using it on his animals, um, which by the way, he has his new book out now ready for pre-order. So we will be talking more about that next week as well, but it is an excellent machine for dogs. Excellent. Um, a lot of people think animals take more of a magnetic field and really dogs, some dogs like it stronger, but this machine is an excellent machine because you could just put it on the mat, turn it on and they can lay right there and on their bed where they're comfortable and get a full session. I was, uh, the other day I watched the video, which was excellent. Uh, the one with the, the second eagle, I guess, that we were dealing with that got caught in a trap and uh, they were treating the, had the eagle in the, in the crate and treating it using a soul. And so this is very similar to the power of a soul, except it's digital. And, um, and so it would be very beneficial for that same type of situation. And, and the soul was very effective on the bald eagle and the, uh, Spiro Go would do a very similar type of situation, just incredibly, incredibly portable. Yeah, and I love the idea of like adding this and the LZR into your business. Like if you're looking to increase um, your business and help more people and animals, like using the Spiro Go and the LZR together is an incredible combination um, of something that you can uh, like have your practitioners or have your clients do themselves or even do, you know, work with them to do. So I think this is great. Some people are sensitive to PMF, like anything else. There are people who are sensitive to, um, you know, magnetic fields. So this is a great machine to start them out on as uh, with the LZR. It really is a great combination. Okay, the question, uh, Dawn has the question, is a Rife machine the same thing as PEMF? Well, a Rife machine uh, puts out a frequency that is into the air or into the, into the area, and it can then go into the body. And a lot of people have had very good success with Rife machines. It, it is a electromagnetic type of signal, but it is different than the pulsing aspect of the PEMF that we work with and deal with. And the, the other situation uh, when you start dealing with Rife, uh, Rife himself, uh, who perfected the device and created the device, uh, got better results um, than anyone is really as we're told, have been able to duplicate with newer types of machines based on the same principles. But they are different. They are complementary. Uh, they can work very well together. But Rife, uh, the Rife type of system is not PEMF as we explain it and we use it, but it is an electromagnetic frequency field uh, put into the area. Um, is it like electrical and and no, it's not electrical. It's not electrical. It's, it, it, it's electrically generated, just like our signal. But it it is it's just a different um, manner in which it's delivered. But it is not a pulsed PEMF signal uh, that we're familiar with. Yeah, yeah. It is uh, confusing, is what it is. It is confusing. Um, it gets it gets yeah. very confusing because people will ask questions just like that. And and you know the thing is, if someone has one of those devices and they're using it according to the instructions that they were giving, and they're getting the results they're looking for, I mean, that's the way things are, and yeah. and and they're and that's good for them. Uh, but sometimes the the adjustments that need to be made to devices and so forth, other things are more comfortable or more easy for someone to use. Uh, but that's that's kind of the the basis and the differences between them. Yeah, I have a really good. I have a, a shameless plug to give while we're here. Um, <laughs> so. The deadline to register for my um, business builder class, I am starting a new one this week, um, right now, or this Thursday. I had an excellent two groups of classes, Dad, as you know. So I'm, I've been wonderfully excited about uh, working with these people and they've had incredible results. We've had a great time doing it. Uh, but January 10th is the deadline to register. 
Uh, but you can register now and it starts next year. So these next six weeks, I, I am full. So if you are looking to do a business builder course um, and you are interested in like building your business and growing it and not making the same mistakes that dad and I made as we, we went through this journey, you know, keeping, we, we've done this and uh, we have some a lot of great information to share that can help you grow your business. So if you're interested, please sign up now. You can go to our website. I will post the link here in the comments today as well, but please, uh, you know, start the class. It's been so much fun for me, very rewarding. And I love getting to know everybody on that, like one-on-one -on -one basis. It's a great way to really, um, interact and learn from not just me, but the other people in the class. That's where it's at. People have, have done things and they have such good ideas and stories that they've shared. And, and, and that's the key one, you know, if you can learn how to tell a story, you can let the story sell for you. And then of course you need to wear to, you know, how to ap apply these stories to the various platforms and, and follow through with that. And Elaine, yeah. you're doing a great job with that. Well, it's great because they we set their goals. Like this isn't we go all we go all the way from branding. If you are looking to change your business, like you're kind of at um, let's say a crossroads, like we go through that with you. We set your goals for the next two to five years, and then we break them down into six month segments, so that by the time you look at it, and it doesn't seem so overwhelming to reach those goals because you're able to reach them easily because you just have to do small incremental changes to get there. Um, and then we do all of the tools that are needed, like all the tools that are needed to get there. And, and fix your problem. And a lot of it is confidence. A lot of it is knowing that you're on the right track. We also redo your logo if you already have one, like clean it up and make sure that it's what you want moving forward for the future or we create one. That's included in the price. So you get a logo design, you get uh, marketing materials afterwards, customized marketing materials mailed physically to your home. And then you also get like this entire step-by-step -step procedure of what you need to do to reach where you want to be in the next two to five years. So it's an excellent class. Suzanne says that she really um, like the, the business builder class. She loved the business builder class. Like we have just really had a great experience. So if you are looking for that, um, you know, push to the next level, I really recommend everybody sign up because we're filling up fast. Okay. Uh, Bridget asks a question regarding the analog machines. What would be, would be the minimum temperatures for storage overnight and for use now that the weather is getting below freezing? That's a great question. In the strictest sense of the word, with an analog machine, if you were to leave it in your car and it's freezing overnight, um, <clears throat> it, it, there's not a lot of fear that anything is going to freeze and break uh, from that perspective. However, it, there are wires. The wires can, you know, it, if you've got a machine and it's outside and freezing temperatures overnight, carefully handle it when you begin to use it for the day. Let it start, let it warm up, give it, give it a chance to get acclimated to the temperatures. If you can best keep the devices stored in, I would say, I don't want to say room temperature, but if you can keep them stored in a non-freezing environment, you're just setting things up to be better protected and better used. Uh, but we have had devices. I remember, gosh, a few years ago, we had a device that it, 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 it broke and but it would only misoperate when it was cold so it would it would get into a cold room or they go to the barn and it'd be it below in freezing. The 40s it was and as, as, pardon me it was below freezing like it was like yeah. it was like negative yeah. zero. it was and, very and cold and kept sending it back to the factory and the factory saying there's nothing wrong with this machine at room temperatures it was fine but when they went into a, a a cold barn type situation what he did is he took it down the street to his friend's liquor store put it in a walk-in freezer and went back the next day and turned it on and it wouldn't work because when it froze something separated when it got cold below into the you know the, the cooler type of temperature it caused a part to just separate enough that it would not work. And, and so that's a little different than what we're talking about. But, you know, it, I'd prefer not to leave it in freezing situations for a, a long periods of time. Same thing for the heat. You, if you put it in a car in the summertime and it's 120 degrees or 130 degrees in the car and you get it out and you turn it on and it starts heating up itself, the automatic shutoff will take and take and effect because it, it does not allow itself to severely overheat. And so you have a similar type situation. They will work when they're cold. 
I mean, I have used them myself in freezing temperatures uh, it, it, at the racetracks in various places through the winters, and, and everything worked just fine. Uh, but in the evening, I kept it in my in my uh, garage or in the house, and then went back to work. But if if you have to leave it out, there's no real damage that's going to happen if it's if it's left in your car overnight. Yeah, below zero is like what I would think. Like anything, if you're, I mean, that's the only time that we've had these when it's been very, very cold and for long periods of time. So, um, but that, again, that that issue has been fixed on all of those machines. So that was a few years ago. So you should have absolutely no problem uh, having your machine outside. The, what I would be worried about is leaving it in a car that it might get stolen. So just make sure that that, you know, you're, you have insurance and it's covered. That's what scares me about leaving the machines in cars overnight. Sure, absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, if someone knows it's in your car and they want to try to get a hold of it and steal it and try to resell it somewhere, they, you know, be, I'd be more concerned about that. I think you're absolutely right. Um, Dawn asked the question. She was hooking up to Brain Tap, typed in writer, and no results were fine. I don't. Would it be a writer or equestrian? She should. Well, type writer in? should work. So, so they have. She's just not been added into the math sides. Um, I actually reached out to them a couple of times today and we we're working with them to make sure that you guys are added into the correct ones. If you are a Manway practitioner and you purchased the app and you do not have access to Manwave or Rider, please let us know. We will get it fixed for you. The best way to do that is support at nwpef.com. We will get it handled for you this week as fast as possible. So please just let us know. Um, sometimes it, the, the wires get crossed there and they don't put people, they put them in the regular and not the bad way. So we're working with them to make sure that they update all of those people. Okay. Perfect. Great. Um, Terry Thank says, you. I'm excited to start the business classes with you this week. I am too. I'm very excited, Terry. That's great. If anybody else has a question and like to talk with us, 502-599-9722, yep. we will phone you right back. Uh, <clears throat> if you have any other questions, just paste it in or just type it into the chat box. And again, we will certainly answer your questions uh, to the fullest of our ability. Here's, look uh, how great it is. I can even pick it up. And I got chicken arms. There you go. Look at that. So that's a Spiro Go. If you have a couple of questions about the Spiro Go, please let us know. Um, are we giving away any prizes for people who ask questions today? We are giving away a canvas bag. Chris has got some canvas MagnaWave bags that we are giving away if someone wants to call us and uh, talk with us. We'll be happy to send them a bag, uh, which the uh, Tina did. And I'm sure she responded accordingly to uh, receive her bag. Awesome. So I'm working, I'm going to get my dad to, you know, he doesn't know this yet, but I'm going to get oh. him into doing his own business builder class. We are, we are working with him to uh, get that some, a schedule for that next level person who wants to take it to the next level for him doing his own um, class. And we're also, if you are unaware, we are redoing our certification program and adding another level to our certification program that you all might find very interesting. It's um, a hands-on training option. We're going to have some prerequisites that you have to have completed and had your machine for a certain amount of time to be able to be eligible for that class. And it will be um, once, maybe twice a year, we will have that class, a small group class that will be actually um, accredited with us to be able to do the hands-on training in their area. So um, Teresa has been working very hard on that program for the last few months, and we are very excited to have that up. So we're going to have a um, some really new, exciting things happening in 2021. Very tell, us about, tell us about MagnaCon, Elaine. What's happening there? Okay, so MagnaCon is on, and if you go to MagnaConPEMF.com, I believe that it's, is it on the other website yet, Chris? Yeah, okay, so MagnaConPEMF.com. If you go there, you can see all of the information, and it what, what MagnaCon is, if you're unfamiliar, is it is where a bunch of like-minded people who love PMF, you don't have to be certified, you don't have to own a machine yet to come. Uh, we have doctors, chiropractors, we have a whole new lineup of uh, speakers. Uh, coming. I actually just did a podcast with Freddie. Um, I can't remember his last name, but I did an entire podcast about PMF and how it works. And he is a expert in alternative wellness and he will be speaking as well. We have several new speakers. We educate, we have fun and we do hands-on training. So we are actually doing human horse and livestock hands-on training at the hotel where the event is. So uh, tickets are on sale right now and they're a hundred dollars off if you buy before January 1st. So it is just a, it's, it's a ton of fun. We go to Churchill Downs. Um, we do the races. We are on that. We are having a in-person experience in 2021. So we are very excited about that. 
So right now it's it's in person and that's the way we're heading and hopefully everything will work out that way. Yeah, I mean, we planned for everything. We have a, we, we've got a band for Friday night. I mean, we have, the ticket price is, um, I believe it's it's $100 off right now and you get food, you get lunch every day. We have um, dinner at Churchill Downs, like all of that is included in your ticket price. Plus we have hotel rooms that are discounted through the Marriott. So if you are, if you are interested in learning more about PMF at all, uh, this is an excellent, I think it's a mandatory thing to, to attend. Okay, we got a question here from a caller. Let me bring bring them up. Good. Hello. They need to mute their, they need to mute their Hello. video. Hello. Are you there? Yes, we're here. Oh, Pat Zemer here with Magna Wave. You had a question about uh, rentals. Yes, Pat. Thank you. And and so your question is, what are people charging to rent the machines, the smaller machines, to their customers? Correct. Uh, yeah, for the uh, Sp uh, Spiro. Okay. So Elaine, kind of address that the rental situation. So it is um, up to the practitioner to decide what the rate is based on um, their own business setting. So we aren't franchising. We do allow these rentals uh, them to rent these machines out, but they get to set their own pricing. So we would have to reach out to the people that were nearest you that you would like to rent from. So, uh, um, but what what kind, is there any kind of average people are charging yeah. by the day? Well, it really depends on the person, quite frankly, and how long they want to rent it. Like, obviously, if you rent it for a longer price, for a longer period of time, that some of the some of the practitioners are doing less, you can rent it from us for six hundred and fifty dollars for one month, and at the end of that month, um, you can either purchase it or send it back, and that six hundred and fifty dollars comes off the purchase price. Um, but with the practitioners, if you only want it a week or two weeks, they will. They're somewhere in that zone. Does that make sense? Well, someone, someone is renting a machine, and I, I'm being very facetious a little bit here in my thoughts, but if someone has a machine they want to rent it to their customer for a couple of hundred bucks for a week, yeah, and, and imagine there's four weeks, so you know if they, if they own the machine, they can make an additional $800,000 a month. Um, by doing that, something in that in that range is that correct, Elaine? Or you might rent it by the day if someone rents want to rent it if a doctor's office wants to use it for a day, and so they put it in there, and then and then they charge their uh, clients by the minute potentially. Uh, other people rent them by the minute. I, I know that when I first experienced rentals years ago, uh, veterinarians would be renting their devices to a, a barn owner and they would keep it for the day. And then the vet, then they would look and see how many minutes it was used and charge them uh, $2 a minute. So that could be very profitable. Uh, in, in a day, you could very easily rack up a bunch of uh, a minute charges type situation. I hope that helps. Is that helping you a little bit? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Um, be sure to send an email to, to support at MagnaWave PEMF, and we'll send you a uh, canvas bag. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. So we have a question here from Eddie, um, and he says, I'm extremely excited. I've started with MagnaWave. I have some interest from medical professionals in my area with PEMF for spine rehab and stem cell applications. They are requesting research documentation. Can you all help me out? Now, Eddie, I believe that I spoke to your fiance yesterday, um, and she's doing the business builder class with me. If you, I believe you've already completed the certification. If you have, if you go in, when the website is finished getting back up, which should be um, by the end of day tomorrow, hopefully, um, once the, the server is moved over, the practitioner portal has a ton of research studies, like anything that you could ever want, the full studies that you could download and then take to them, um, print out and take to them. So all of that is available for you in the practitioner portal. If you need it sooner than that, just email support at mwpmf.com and we'll get those documents for you um, emailed over. But the practitioner portal is a huge resource with a ton of information. So uh, to that end, I know Dr. Dennis and his studies with NASA and PEMF has found that it does stimulate stem cell development, uh, that it can do that. Dr. Dreesen has approached that quite a bit. There'd be an area with the Association of PEMF Professionals, pemfprofessionals.com, uh, the AOPP. And, and uh, 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 Dr. Dreesen uh, deals with that, those similar type of questions there as well.
Yeah, if you go to pmfprofessionals.com, Eddie, right now, you can actually see on the research page, you could search by ailment and see the studies. Now, the studies are just snippets of the actual, um, you don't get the full study um, unless you're a member of the AOPP. So you can um, see it there right now and send some of those to your people by email, or you can also get in the back end of our practitioner portal and get all of them. Um, the AOPP is doing some exciting stuff. I actually had a meeting um, with Jerry and spoke to him a little bit about it last week and they are working on a testing equipment so we have submitted all of our machines for testing at the gauss levels um, with all the different attachments and uh, i think three or four other companies have submitted theirs as well so they are building a full page on gauss and um, just straight science just the gauss tested by a third party um, an actual facility is setting that up and testing those so it's a really great way if you are an end user that's a great organization to go to learn more about pmf and reach out to them um, um, in the beginning when you're doing your research and then also on the other side to, they have a certification program that's wholly PMF based not you know machine based and it's it's an excellent thing to really do with MagnaWave or if you are not a practitioner with MagnaWave it's something to do on your own if you're looking for more education. Okay great any other questions that you're seeing there it's time for it's about time to wrap it up for the day. Yeah, Terry said, would um, would you contact Aaron to sign up a person to be able to take the practitioner certification under me? Terry, just email education at mwpemf.com or magnawavepemf.com. Either of those, education. And uh, somebody from the certification department will get that handled for you. Make okay. sure you have the email address. I think that's it. All right. Uh, I think we're about out of time. It's been a great program. Thank you for sharing the information with us about the Spiro Go. And again, it's SpiroGoPEMF.com to uh, learn more about it and get some information. So we're excited about that. And Elaine, thank you for being with us. Folks on CastBox, thank you today. Viewers, thank you for being with us. We've enjoyed it very much. We'll see you next Tuesday, MagnaWave Office Hours. Have a great one. Bye-bye. It's a really cool partnership with BrainTap. Besides the cool stuff that MagnaWave offers in the app, there is also a ton of other um, modules, I guess, where there's smoking cessation, weight loss. We have a whole one that um, is exclusive to MagnaWave, again, all about being a, um, a rider, like, an, you know, working with horses and getting, you know, back out of your head and how much, you know, your mental um stability affects writing those classes are also in the brain tap so it has red lights white lights and then all of these awesome classes taking these classes i've actually used uh, the brain tap with my children so it's just a really great overall modality that works awesome with what we're already doing uh, with pmf and magnawave because when you're using the magnawave a lot of times you're on your phone you're you're not really you know, getting, checking out mentally and really taking that time. And this, this really adds that new, um, that mental component to using the magnum machine.